On March 2, 2017, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte and Metro Pacific Tollways Corporation Chairman Manny Pangilinan led the groundbreaking of the Cebu Cordova Link Expressway. July 4, 2018, a ceremony was held, an event that marks the start of civil works at the site or the beginning of the project's piling works. After six months, this is an update of the foundation, a deep concrete board piles encased in steel tubes. February 7, 2019, the project company, Cebu Cordova Link Expressway Corporation, signed a 15-year omnibus loan and security agreement with the Rizal Commercial Banking Corporation, Development Bank of the Philippines, Robinson's Bank Corporation, Union Bank of the Philippines, Bank of the Philippine Islands, and Security Bank Corporation, amounting to 19 billion syndicated loan facility. The rest will be funded by the Metro Pacific Tollways Corporation through equity or supplemental loans. As of June 30, 2019, completion progress in the design, procurement, and construction phases being an engineering, procurement, and construction contract is at 41.05%. Construction progress alone is at 21.04%. July 2019 Road closure due to the construction of Zipper Lane September 2019 The Zipper Lane and the CSCR Viaduct has been completed and will be in use 8 out of 9 lifts in Tower 2 and 6 in Tower 1 has been completed October 21 completed the lifting of the 400-ton Tower 2 Form Traveler. October 28 and 29, completed the lifting of the Tower 1 Form Traveler. And this is CC Clicks by the end of 2019. Installation of girders, precast planks for the road deck. Foundation works near completion in Cebu Viaduct. In the main bridge, foundations completed. Construction of pylons continue. Continues on substructure for Cebu Cordova backspans. Work. On all foundations now complete. Focusing now on substructure. Precast yard now operational. It serves as fabrication yard for all precast materials. Filler and armor rocks being put in place to protect causeway. With the help of advanced technologies and 1,519 workers, CCCLEX is now at 47% completion rate. In February, it's at 52% and in March, it's at 56% completion rate. These are the first in-new girders produced in the Philippines, used for the project's on and off ramps. This mobile gantry is used in carrying, lifting, and placing girders. This can handle taller, wider, and longer spans, which can no longer be reached by the cranes. June 13 installed the formworks that will link the on-ramp deck to the other side to connect the Cebu Viaduct. EPC completion rate is now at 58%. 
July 18 and 19. Concreting the portal frame at the Cebu South Coastal Road connection. In August, removed the form works for the portal frame that will support the ramps that will connect the main bridge to the Cebu South Coastal Road at the South Road properties. Completion rate is now at 59%. In September, the bridge deck is starting to move sideways that will soon connect at the center or between the two pylons. Tower cranes that were used to carry concrete buckets to build the pier table can no longer reach the deck segments farther away from the pylons. Thus, the need of these special and innovative tools, the spider concrete boom. Still in October, installed the first state cable at Tower 2. Varying in length between 60 meters to 210 meters, there will be 14 state cables on each side of the bridge's two towers, all anchored on the pylon and the deck. October 22 and 23 Moving of the launching gantry for the installation of girders at the Cebu Viaduct Completion rate is now at 63% In November, transferred the launching gantry from the on-ramp to the off-ramp section This launching gantry will be used to place off-ramp in new girders also, started the installation of the cross on top of the pylons. This will be a 40 meter tall and lighted on all four sides. Completion rate is now at 64%. And just before Christmas, they have finished or completed all the piling works in the entire stretch of the 8.5 kilometer Cebu Cordoba Link Expressway. They have driven 494 piles. And this is CC Clack by the year 2020. This is Cebu Cordova Link Expressway, an 8.5 kilometer bridge with 400 meter cable stage structure. The twin tower pylons have 145 meters high each, with 14 cables in each side. With 70 meters depth, this is the first in the country designed to withstand an earthquake up to 7.8 magnitude. And next year, when it starts to operate, it will fully support the order of the Department of Transportation to require motorists to use cashless and contactless transactions when using toll expressways in a bid to mitigate the transmissions of COVID-19. For future updates, please click the subscribe button notification bell.